Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banished. So, let's uh, continue where we left off here, and let's start up the game slowly here. So, while we're waiting for our labors here, let's see if we can fine-tune some things. So, we gotta be very careful, because we have quite a lot of people passing away here. So, we might wanna be careful with constantly deducting labors, or people in the food industry here. So let's uh, see where we can at least temporarily get some laborers just to make sure that we complete all the buildings that we have here. And let's also keep, well, at least more than one laborer to uh, get this college working at all times. We do not want our teacher to pass away also and not have a laborer back them up. So I thought it might be a good idea to Take this clay pit here and have it not work. Reason being is that we still have 99 clay and we have already 240 bricks here. Now that's gonna be plenty to create two building supplies here. So why don't we deduct all these five people right there and have them not work in the clay pit. That's gonna speed things up considerably here. And let's take one person and have him work here in the building supplier so we can complete the work on the building supplies so we can finish the apothecary as well as the city blacksmith here and let's put one person to work there we're not going to need many building supplies so this is going to be uh, just fine here all right let's see let's uh, add this back to six that's going to be fine fuel refinery we do have a bunch of furnace fuel sitting right here. Our iron is also doing pretty good. But we do need to make sure that we get that up as soon as possible because we are nearing the maximum production capacity of this normal blacksmith here, the standard version. And we're gonna need the blacksmith pretty soon here. Yeah, people are dying of old age. That's uh, We gotta be careful here. How much number do we have? 500 or so. Mm. Yeah, we could use a little bit of a breather on the logs as well. So why don't we wait for the lumber mill also? We have plenty of lumber. We should be able to produce building supplies here. And let's see. Yeah, 47 homes and 27 families. We don't need to build any houses anytime soon. Let's see, yeah, our population is growing, students and children, that's pretty good. We do have 20 students, so those are going to be trickling into our labor pool very quickly, hopefully. And food here, that is developing in a way that is not necessarily encouraging. So let's, uh, let's have a look at that also. Logs, hopefully we can catch back up here. How many people do we have working here? Two. Well, let's keep two for now, but let's uh, let's keep an eye on that. Hopefully, with this sawmill not working, we can uh, build up a little bit of inventory. I'm doing good. Firewood still needs to catch back up. We are burning through some... Oh no, he uses furnace fuel here. That's good. But our furnace fueler was also using charcoal. Yeah, we need to keep a close eye on that also. So yeah, we're coming at a point where we need to upgrade out of uh, lots of things here. And also, late summer here. Let's keep an herb field right here, so we can keep an eye on that also. We are going to be running out of herbs really quickly if we keep on growing like this. And this is the plan, of course. 658 clothes. Let's uh, move some of them into the trading post here. Let's do 500 clothes for now. In case something comes by that we wanna that we wanna order, we don't have to solely rely on the charcoal because we're a little hmm a little shy on charcoal, at least to trade with. So let's uh, let's move to five x here and let's hope that some people graduate from school. And I'm thinking here, 
being that food is not exactly looking the finest right now, we can choose to keep on adding people to the fishing dock here. But they're producing roughly 200 or so each for each laborer working there. So that is not necessarily the most productive. Let's see, how much are you doing? Two people. That's at least doing a little bit better here. So we could add some people to the tidal pool. We have a tidal pool right there. And we have one right here. So that could be good to tide us over. Or we can start working towards getting our greenhouses. And that is going to be good for a lot of reasons. One, they produce a lot of food. And they also produce a lot of different types of food. Mostly fruits, of course. We also still need to uh, work these two fields. Although that's going to take a long time. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep those also. So that's going to cost us three labors. And these uh, orchards are going to take at least two to three years in order for them to uh, produce, if not longer. But we can at least start preparing here. So, let's see. Right here, maybe. Let's get a few shore houses going here. This one. Because we're gonna need sand, of course, to make glass. That's gonna be a key ingredient to the... Uh, to producing the lighthouses. Or, excuse me, the greenhouses. Stone house finished. Right there. We have another shore house right here. But we do have five laborers and two builders, so those shouldn't be taking too much time, hopefully. Now let's get a glassworks here. Yeah, let's do it. Right here. Glass works. Yeah, let's do it here. Maybe like this. Sure. And with this glass, we should be able to start producing these en masse. Lumber, we have. Stone 2 and 48 glass. Yeah, that's going to be excellent. And once we're set up for greenhouses, we will be producing a lot more food. Not that we're in trouble now, of course, but this is showing some signs of weakness. And if we keep growing, which we are, this is only going to deteriorate. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. Alright, goats? No, thank you. So yeah, let's see. Six laborers, that's fine. Did we produce any building supplies? Three already. So that's going to be enough for the time being. have. Should we look to get more more orchards going here? No, let's just focus on the greenhouses first and let's keep a healthy labor pool here. Are we doing good on logs? Well, somewhat. Let's add one more person to the forest slice right here. There we go. Dead firewood. No, it's not doing too good. Stacks burner. Two people working there. We might also want to be careful here, actually. 300 though. That's still plenty, but... Let's have this uh, catch up first. 2000 charcoal. That is good. Very good. Let's uh, speed up the game here. Let's try to finish these shore houses as soon as we can. Add a little bit of priority. Mm -hmm. Plenty of tools, still plenty of clothing. That is excellent. Iron is doing pretty good. Hunter has died of old age. That's not so good. 
How old is your teacher, actually? Sixty-eight. Yeah, that is that is getting close here. We need to be careful. But six laborers. That's more than fine. I am gonna assign two people right here, though, just to get a jump on them because they take a long time to develop. I'd like that to have have grapefruits as well as peaches as soon as possible. More food, and that's also gonna be the first fruit type food that we have. So that's going to aid in our health also. That's going to be all good. And you know what? Let's add one person to the plantation right here. Let's get some herbs going. Yeah, we're still growing. Very good. Health and happiness. Now let's be careful here. Yeah, food first. Let's add another tidal pool right here. That's gonna be good. Right there. It's a simple building, but it produces plenty of food. Because I'm thinking, now that we're getting up there, how many people do we have? 90, yeah, so we're nearing 100. We need to get some quote-unquote level 2 food buildings in here. That's going to support lots more growth. Four people. Is that our... Yeah, our quarry is uh, gone. We cannot upgrade it. That's not so good. So let's... Uh, unassign it and remove that building. But let's look to place a quarry. Real quick. So now that we have eight labors, actually let's keep... Two people in here, getting sand, because the sooner we get sand, the sooner we get glassworks, and the sooner we get glass, the sooner we get greenhouses. So let's find a good spot for our quarry here. Hmm. Not here, that's going to be right in the way of that Forester's Lodge. We might want to do it here, although that's going to result in bunch of unhappiness, but okay. With the mining, they're already going to be somewhat unhappy, so that's going to be okay. Hopefully. No. This one. Right here. Right there. And let's build it too. We do have a thousand stones, so that's not going to be too terrible. That should last us at least for a little while. But we can get the building going anyway. And a nice stone, stone stockpile right there. Still 300. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay, let's make it 5-3 actually, that's going to be better. Both the apothecary and the city blacksmith have their building supplies. And they're already being built, so that's good. There we go. No need to work right now. So, honey, flour, and cloth. Cloth we do have. Flowers too. We're only going to need honey. So that might actually not be a bad idea. Get a few apiaries in there. That's gonna help with the health also. And you know what? Let's uh, let's work towards that effect. Let's put one right here. Hopefully it'll fit. Or actually, with the happiness radius here, I might want to do it somewhere here just to offset that unhappiness from the quarry. Doesn't fit right here. Let's check the uh, trader first here. Raspberries, field onions, coffee seeds, corn. No, not right now. Thank you, though. Can we build more mines here? 
I don't think we need them, but we could. No, let's uh, let's build one right here. That unhappiness needs a little bit of a boost, or at least a positive counterbalance. And if an APR is going to offer that, that's going to be good. Right there. 60 logs, 24 stone, that's gonna be fine. City blacksmith. So yeah, let's see. Let's have this standard blacksmith stop working. And you go work in the city blacksmith. Do we need to employ another person there? Well, actually, yes, but... I'm thinking food is going to be more important right now. But we have six labors, so let's just assign one more. Okay. Let's go to this glassworks here. Let's give that some priority. How much sand do we have? Still nothing? Ah, oh, let's give that time. A little bit of a priority here because our food is getting below 10,000. That is not too good. Yeah, this is gonna move pretty quickly here. So let's get this tidal pool up first before we do anything. Alright, needs 20 stone. We should have that. No problem. Still, people dying of old age, but we're getting more labors. That's good. Glassworks. That's going to be very good. Both of them finishing up. that tidal pool. Let's immediately finish this glassworks here. Seventy-five, that's actually a pretty steep too. Okay, so let's have two people work here. Finish the glassworks. And as soon as we have forty-eight glass we're good to go on the greenhouses. But of course, we're going to need water and fertilizer too. So, let's uh, clean this up. And let's start thinking about how we want to do this. So we could just go here, right? We have plenty of housing here. If we're gonna... We might be able to fill, uh, build a stables right here. Maybe even two. Where's that fodder at? Do we have a lot of fodder here? Some. Some fodder. Fodder there too. Yeah, we could expand this way. It's not going to matter much, of course. But it does have a magazine right there, so that's uh, that's good. Yeah, let's uh, have you start working. One person. That's going to be fine. You're going to take a long time anyway. So let's see. We're gonna need a lot of fertilizer here. Here, right? Yeah, stables. The best fertilizer provider in the game. That's the one I'm looking for here. Right next to the school. Alright. So be it. Right there. Two stables. Don't require anything special. But they're gonna be crucial. And maybe two or three water towers right here. Soybeans. Hazelnut. Olives, though. That is tempting. No, let's focus on our greenhouses first. Orchards are very good, but they take time here. And 
this looks like we are not going to have too much time here. We want to get a jump on that as soon as we can. Alright. Let's keep a close eye on the tools also. And the iron, of course. Five to three. Twelve children, though. Forty-nine to thirty. Yeah, that's filling up quickly. Pretty quickly. So, yeah, water towers. Let's go right here. Slow the game down just a little bit here. City water tank. That's going to be too tight. That's going to be too tight. We have a lot of unused space right here. That seems like a good spot. Let's build four immediately here. Because not only do our stables require water, our greenhouses require it too. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of labors. Oh my goodness. Alright. Now let's get a greenhouse going right here. Just one for now. We can expand later. This one. Right here. 48 glass, though. Are we producing that quickly? 8 glass, yeah, it's gonna take quite a while. But as soon as we have these greenhouses up, these fertilizers, or at least these stables, produce enough fertilizer to get a lot of greenhouses going here. So that's gonna work out just fine. Apiary. Yeah, let's not work you for now. And we could go grow fodder slash grass right here. Right? That's not going to be in the way. Yeah, this is going to be a good location to do that. So let's get two crop fields right there. And start setting up for the future. 15 by 8. Uh, 15 by 8. Okay, stable's done. Let's have you not work right now. See the straighter, grass seeds. We already have grass, sir, but thank you anyway. Dismiss. Let's have you not work also. Or neither. Okay, let's, uh, let's make sure this is uh, all good here. Lean to. Right there. And of course, let's close it off with some stockpiles here. This is really going to set us up for the future. So let's have someone work right there. Water. And now that we have this water, we can start working these tables. One, two. Miscellaneous units. Let's make it 10,000. Hopefully our magazine will keep up. And it should. How's the glass going? You don't have enough sand, probably. Yeah. So this requires a lot of work. A lot of people to support it. But once it's up, it's going to be really, really good. We might want to check our house placement, of course, because we are not building any homes nearby. So these uh, routes might be atrocious, but let's be careful with the houses here. Because we are really overproducing. And if we grow too fast, that's going to be very problematic. That is just starting to trend back up again. We had a lot of deaths. Let's add one more. And we are maxing out our first forester. 
So that means that we might want to look to uh, get this forester going as well. 32 glass, that's fine. Another water tank. Awesome. And the last one. Yeah, this is looking good. Herbs, 258. Yeah, that should be looking pretty good right now. So let's check our charts very quickly. 49 to 31, that's okay. Happiness is going back up again. Food needs some attention, but we are working on that right now. Lock should start going back up again. Iron is good. Firewood though. Hmm. Tools are doing great, especially with that additional blacksmith in there. And clothing is also doing good. Awesome. Trade leg horns, no sir. So yeah, before we run out here, do we want to add one more person in this tax burner? I'm thinking yes. Let's be careful. Let's do something like this. Furnace fuel. Yeah, that's running out real quickly too. So let's add one more person to work in this fuel refinery. And we finally have enough glass for our first greenhouse here. And this is going to open up a whole lot of possibilities here. Village crop field. Yeah, sure. Let's make village crop fields from now on. We don't need fodder yet. We have plenty of fodder. Nine fertilizer. How much do we have? 3,000 fodder. Yeah, that's going to be good for now. So, let's give this a little bit of priority here. Still four hearts. And if we're going to pr be producing fruits in here, it's going to immediately turn into, hopefully, a huge growth spurt. We could use a little, more, a little bit more laborers. And now that we have glass, we shouldn't worry too much about food. Alright, here we go. So let's get mm, blueberries here. Alright, looking good. Mm, let's keep this a little bit open here. Can we complete this road? No, we cannot. Alright. That's fine too. No problem. Hmm. I really would like to build one more greenhouse here. Let's do it. Let's just build one more. They look good. They produce good. And we have all the buildings set in place. So we might as well leverage, leverage all the... Uh, fertilizer as well as the water that we have maybe here yeah let's build one here mm -hmm. what are you running out of water How are we doing on water? Zero water. You live somewhat close by. So let's have one more person working water tanks right there. Alright. And now that we have our city blacksmith, let's remove the standard one and get a city blacksmith in its place. Trade sheet? No, thank you. So yeah, this is looking good. We're getting into the next level food production here. And these greenhouses really produce lots of things here. Nothing so far, but it should. Mm -hmm. 49.32. Ah, 
that's looking good. Our health should pop back up. Okay, yeah, we are running out of people quickly here. Very quickly. Alright. Can we borrow some? Preferably not from here, but a lot of people are dying at the same time here. Let's keep two Forsters. Okay. And the teacher died. That's a good thing. Well, it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing that we added a few people here. Whew, that was close. Why is everyone dying at the same time? That is not... That is not a good thing. 21 students. Need more people. Let's check the new teacher's age. 40. That's old. Yeah, let's not do anything to risk our position right now, because we are transitioning. And no need for crazy things right now. One labor. And I'm thinking all these, uh, if we have 21 students, they should be graduating. There we go. Let's try to fill this Forester back up. Because we're already not in a very strong log position right now. Alright. Let's add one more. Let's keep two laborers at all times here. We got very lucky with that teacher. Goodness. Alright. How much did you produce? You're still producing. Where do you live, sir? Not so close by. I'm very tempted to build two more houses right there. Very tempted. Okay, that greenhouse is finishing up here. We have no builders though. Yeah, let's try to finish it quickly. Okay, second labor. That's gonna be fine here. And what would, do we want to produce there? Maybe some beans. We skip beans. That's not too nice. Taylor died of old age. A new labor. Alright. Still need to add one more person in the Forcer's Lodge also. And let's get... Let's start thinking about getting this one active too. Models? No, thank you. 26 out of 38. That's getting very close here. Alright, there we go. And let's have you working beats. Alright. Now we need one more person in the Forester's Lodge. And being that we're not going to build anything, let's, uh, let's keep two labors for now. So yeah, we are expanding here. We got our first two greenhouses, producing beans as well as blueberries. We already have two stables here, only working one though, and a whole bunch of water towers right there. So we are getting set for further growth here. And hopefully that'll, uh, that'll work out in our favor here for the food. Because it started dropping, it's climbing again, but I'm still not convinced here. So yeah, but we are out of time for this episode, so I'd like to uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully see you in the next episode too. Thanks everyone.